Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna hit the South Fork of the Shenandoah River. As you can see, we got some shallow water all the way down, it gets a little bit deeper. Also, all the way up, it gets a little bit deeper. So we're gonna figure out if we wanna paddle all the way up or paddle down and then make our way back up to the truck. It's really a crapshoot. Either way I go, I'm gonna probably have the same amount of success So and the same amount of paddling. So we'll figure it out. Let's get out here on the kayak and see what we can do. All right, so we made our way on to the river. We decided we're gonna go upstream uh, probably about an hour and then float back down after we see if that deeper water is holding some bigger fish or not. Uh, as we go, we'll stop and cast along the way and uh, be sure to post any of those catches. But uh, for now, we're gonna start paddling. So let's go get it. All right, guys, let's start out. We're gonna throw this whopper plopper. This water is probably about three to four feet deep. See if anything wants to come up for it. We are about to get some rain. That might increase this bite a, a little bit. Like I said, we're going to work our way back up, but right now, just letting this kayak float down a little ways through this spot. Our second little moving bait is this inline spinner by Joe's Fly. Doing this on this ultra light proficiency setup. Usually you can catch bluegills right away on this, but I'd rather have small mouth than large mouth, so we'll see. Gives it a little more shine. Like I said, we're about to get some rain, so this bite should should pick up here in the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. There we go. I think that's probably a bluegill, but we'll see if he jumps or not. Uh, he might be coming up. Nah, I think it's a bluegill. Sorry. Get the bite started. That's a good thing. Hard to tell if this water is deeper here or just a little bit murkier. I think it's a little bit of both. For something. Might have been another bluegill. There we go. That's a bass. Small mouth. Ah, that's another bluegill. He's pulling straight down. No, it is a smaller. He didn't fight as hard as most smallmouth fight. Especially on this ultra light. We'll see. We'll keep getting on him. Pretty fish. either a big bluegill or small ass of bluegill. And back in. Oh my gosh, mister. Another oh, bluegill.
There we go. Oh my goodness. Tighten this drag up a little bit. <laughs> There's two misses right there, and I think my drag was just way too loose, but we'll see. This lightweight, ultra light drag can only go so tight, so these smallmouth are still going to pull drag regardless of where I set it. Might as well tighten it all the way down. Oh my goodness, I had another bite. There we go. That might be another bluegill. I can't really tell. Eh. Yeah. No, it's a little smallmouth. The grief little guy fought. <laughs> can't believe he pulled my track like that, but he did. Gotcha. I gotcha. Look at that thing. Nice big rock straight ahead. Let's see if we got one hanging out there. Could be one right on this rock, guys. Try again. There we go. Oh my goodness, did I miss him? I think he came off, yep. Oh my goodness, there we go. That's a tag on bluegill. I really hate to switch baits when it's working, but these are too many bluegill for my liking. Yep. Another blue, yeah. I got you, buddy. I'm getting you. There you go. That is another bluegill, I swear. That's a fat bluegill. Get him back in too. Alright, I gotta get smaller here, guys. This is a nice little rapids. Perfect smallie spot. We gonna find out. That's all I know. There we go. That might be him. That might be that smallie. Oh my gosh, it came off. <laughs> I think it was too. I think it was the smallie. Uh. All right, boys. We have been paddling a while. I finally can see the bridge that I'm trying to get to. It's still a good, whew, I don't know, seven, eight hundred yards away. All right, we're gonna keep paddling. We will see you guys at the bridge, hopefully.
be able to get on a few more in here. Something bigger than this, I hope. There we go. There we go. Still nothing big, a little half a pounder. We'll take them. Let's we'll go back in. Oh, blue girl. Little guy, get him back in. Alright, we're close enough to this bridge, we better head up. We're about to get rained on, too. It's fine with me. Alright guys, we are super close to the bridge now. Maybe another 100 yards and we'll be there. Got to make our way through all these rocks and rapids. But we're going to fish this here for some smallmouth real quick. See if we can get on a few before we move up. Try not to fall down getting over here. There's something. Might be a small. Oh, I came. I came back. He came off and came back. Might be, yeah, that's a another bluegill. I think. I can't tell. I oh, know smallmouth just hooked him weird. Hooked him in the back. Poor guy. Sorry about that. All right, let's get that pretty boy back in. There we go, that's a smallie. That's gotta be a smallie. Oh no, that's a chub. All right, third species of the day, and that's a little fatty too. These things are so slimy, so hard to unhook. I might have to walk back and get the pliers. Ah, no, we got him. We got him. Look at this little guy. Beautiful. Love it when you get on multi species. That's really cool. Let's get him back in. Casting here. Oh my gosh. Casting this little creek and call it Somali right away. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, little pocket, not creek. How in the world? That was crazy. Oh man, we finally made it past the bridge into this calmer water. I'm gonna try to get our fourth species of the day. We're trying to get a large mouth. So I've got a small mouth, we got a chub, we got plenty of bluegill. So now we're gonna try to get some largies and I'm sure a few more bluegill and smallies will get in the way of that plan, but that's what we're going for. All right, guys, we're going to slow it down and throw this Cinco in here just to see if there's a largemouth in this calmer water. 
good thing is I don't need a bullet. Wait, oh, there's a bite right away. Got him. That might be a large. Oh, I came off. That might have been a largey too. So my dad always said, if you see power lines, fish next to them. You'll catch fish. I don't know why he thinks that or knows that. But we're at power lines. We are going to do exactly that. Throw this chatterbait in here if it's deep enough. Let's see if we can get that fourth species, that largemouth. Oh my gosh, I got a bite right away, guys. <laughs> About to prove Paul right. All right, back to the Cinco. Directly under these power lines for Paul. Let's see what happens, Grandpa. All right, boys. If there's a largey in here, Grandpa's already proved himself right. I've gotten three bites right here at these power lines. Albeit kind of little bites, but still. We can get that fifth, uh, fourth species. I will be happy. There's a bite. There he is. I got him. That might be my. That might be my largey, guys. That might be the one. <laughs> I can't tell. I think it is. Yes, we did it. We hooked him on the side, but we got him. Yes, sir. Grandpa, grand, well, nope. We got another smallie. I thought we had him, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is the worst hook ever. Oh my gosh, it went through his eye. Let's see if I can, yes, got it out without hurting him. Well, I'm not saying it didn't hurt him, but it didn't cause him to bleed or anything. This one's fat. Gosh, how in the world did you eat that? Beautiful. All right. There he is. Got him. Come on, be that large mouth. He is coming up, so he's definitely a bass. Come on, baby. Be that fourth piece. Yes, that's my largey. That's my largey. Oh no, it's a big smallmouth. Holy cow. Gee whiz. Yes, sir. Woo. Look at this, baby. Get some. Woo. That's it. Yeah, I thought it was a large mouth, but it's a smallie. Guys, that is a nice smallmouth. He is about. Let's see how much he weighs or how long he is. I put my ruler up here way too far. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. He is right at 15. Let's get that large. I know he's in here. I know it. I'll just take another small mouth like that any day. So my, I just called my dad, asked him what this power line trick's all about. And he said it's because these birds sit on top of the power lines. And he's right, there's birds up there. And they drop their food, you know, little worms and things like that, into the water. And the bass eat them. Which I was like, wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's nothing to do with the fact that there's power lines or any electrical current or anything. It's just the birds and they're dropping stuff in the water. So sure enough, cast in here, I'm getting bit every time. Got a bite right now. If he'll take it. Oh, he's trying to take it. Come on, take it. So anyway, that's the story, and it's, it actually makes sense. Oh. 
There he is, he's biting it. Come on, just take it. Such a weird bite. I got him. I can't tell if he's hooked or not. Please be my largey. I, 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 I deserve it. Oh my lord. This is bigger than the last one. No, he's not. He's just fighting. He's hooked weird. Ah, oh, thought I had my largey. That's another smallmouth. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. All right, go down there and tell the largemouth I'm looking for them. Oh, I should get bit there. There he is. There he is. Got him. Another little one. Pretty though. Oh, ouch. There we go. Get him back in. Beautiful. All right, guys, this is GoPro. It's about to die. I'm gonna try to get a few more while I'm still filming. Got it. Gosh. Oh man, he's nice. Yeah, nope, not a little one. You were hooked good, buddy. Get you back. Oh no, he didn't take missing code, it's still there. There he goes. They're biting it every time. I can't tell if he's good or not. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Woo. Gosh. Now that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish right there, baby. Probably the last one on the GoPro. We will take it. Another 15, 16 entry. Yes, sir. All right, last one on the GoPro. Let's get him back in. That is a beautiful smallmouth, guys. <laughs> 